Hey y'all, it's Lexi. And today I'll be teaching you how to bleach your knots. Right here, I'm just pulling out all the items that you're gonna need for this. And this wig is from Pizzazz Hair on Amazon. This wig is so freaking bomb, y'all. It is a 24 inch deep wave. 13 by 4 frontal wig. The link to this wig is in my description box on my Amazon storefront. So to start, I used three fourths of this BW2 powder. Next, I'm going to go in with six cups of that 30 volume developer. I'm just using the lid because like the lady said in the video, it's kind of like the best way. So you know exactly how much product you're using. Mix, 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 mix. Right here, it was not the consistency that it was supposed to be when I tapped it. It was supposed to be a little bit more creamier, so I went in and poured that sixth cup. Mix, 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 mix. And the girl whose video I watched said she went to an Arrogant Taste masterclass. And really, I was just trying to do her step-by-step -step instructions if she didn't went to a class, girl. So you're going to grab a little bit and you're going to spread it like peanut butter. Yes, you want it to be a little thick layer not too too thick make it a layer like an actual layer because when I was finished with mine I realized I could have used a thicker layer because I had black knots in my brown wig so they didn't bleach as much as I wanted them to players mess up too but we gonna get that so our wig don't turn blonde and that was a little fat glob. Right here, I was going back and forth with the knife and the brush just because I wanted to get a little layer on that deep U part on that front too. That little, you know, that part. And right now, I'm just going over to everything, checking those thin spots, going over them edges, making sure I got all them the edges, baby. Just making sure I got every single knot. And what she said next in the video is take some aluminum foil and make it in the shape of your cap to suck in that heat. That heat that's going to bleach them knots, baby. And since this wig is from Amazon, the lace took so long to bleach. I think I left it on there with the aluminum foil for about an hour and a half. Remember to keep checking on it every now and again during this hour and a half. Next, I just went in with that developer on the lace to loosen up that bleach. Just because when you take off that aluminum foil, it'll get a little hard and gritty. So you just want to loosen that back up. And once I was done with all of it, I left that mixture on for about 30, 45 minutes. The lace was taking so long to bleach, I had to start getting ready for work, hence the next clip. You're just going to let the bleach run off the lace. I don't know if I was using hot or cold water. But do not rub the bleach in. There's no need. Next, I went in with my ISO Plus Neutralizing Shampoo. And I only washed the lace, not the hair. I know I said I only washed the lace, but 
I use way too much shampoo, so it's okay. I just have to rinse it about three, four times. And this is where I stopped at before work. And right here, I just start pulling back the lace to see how good or how bad I did on the lace. And you can see it looked pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And this is before the purple shampoo. Here's a close-up. The lace is a little orangey just because I haven't used the purple shampoo yet and because the unit is brown. Here's the next morning after work, obviously. I got new clothes on and it's morning time. But I just re-wet the lace from last night. Then I used that purple shampoo, and I made a thick layer, a thick, thick, thick layer. You're going to see me maybe go in with some more just to make that layer thick. And you're going to cover the whole entire lace. As you can see, I'm using more and more and more and more to cover the whole entire lace. When I was washing my hands, a little bit of the water splashed into the lace, so I just went ahead and covered that up. Let it sit for an hour. And rinse it out just like you did the neutralizing shampoo. I don't know if you can tell, but me personally, I can't. It took away that orangey. Do you see that lace now? It ain't orange no more. I could not believe that this was my very first time ever bleaching the lace and soiling the lace. Like, y'all seen in the thumbnail how bomb the install was. And I feel like it was just because this was the start. This was the steps. Bleach them knots. I don't really have no major tips and tricks, but if you just do exactly what I did and listen to what I said by adding a little thicker layer, then you're going to be golden because I feel like that's the only mistake that I made because for as long as I left it, it should have been bleached a little more. But since, you know, it's an Amazon wig, this was the best it was going to get and it got amazing, period. Once I seen that it was still a lot of soap left, I decided to go in with my mixed chicks combo and wash and condition the wig.
like I know y'all see those curls like look at those curls forming like this deep wave wick was so freaking amazing After this was done, the wig felt so amazing, so soft. Like, this mixed chicks, I use this on my real hair, and it does the job amazing. So, why wouldn't it on a wig? Here's a close-up of the lace. It doesn't look the most amazing, and it still looks a little orangey, but I definitely feel like it's because the wig is brown. Because you see that when I installed it, it wasn't orangey. It's giving scalp. I don't care. I don't care. And those black dots you see are the black knots I was talking about in the beginning. But bye, guys.